Johnny, what are you doing up? What are you doing up this late? It's so late. Very tired. What do you've got there? What are you, what are you doing? Get up. What are you doing with that, please? No! No! King! King Arthur! Pick up! Come on, man! Come on! Hello? King! Y yeah. King! What? <laughs> What the fuck are you saying? What are you saying? There's been a murder. A murder? A murder in our house. Someone killed... Someone killed my dad. Someone killed my dad. Oh, shit. They killed him. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Wow. You gotta do something about it. Probably. Come on, man. Okay, uh, well... There's only one man I know that can solve this. Someone is dead. Very, very, super dead, not alive. They are not here anymore. We are doing Murder Mystery, one of the world's greatest cold cases. Lord Sinclair owns this house, and last night he was killed. He's got a bunch of sons and daughters, and, you know, when you have that many, one of them's bound to be a serial killer, and... Exhibit A. We're going inside to gather as much hard evidence as we possibly can. First things first, the actual crime scene. It would appear to me that there's a knife with blood around it on this carpet. We're gonna pick it up, put our fingerprints all over it. There's a pot on this table. It says he was drinking from it before he died. I don't know how anyone concluded that. Oh, it's just, it's his favorite drinking pot. It would be very unlike him for him not to be drinking. It's time to invade everyone's space. Anna, what are you hiding in this barrel? Silver necklace, huh? Must be worth something. Putting it right in my pocket. Ooh, Bob's got a silver cup. Might have a good high alk value. Carol's got a silver bottle. She's a raging alcoholic. Runs in the family. This guy reads. If that's not a red flag for a serial killer, I don't know what is. I stole Frank's pot. Okay, we have everyone's personal belongings, so I think we're... We're about done here. I'm gonna head out of the premises and no one will ever see me again. Isn't he supposed to solve the murder? Yeah, yeah, it's unsolvable. Can we have our stuff back? No. So there's a dog right here, so we are concluding that it had to be someone in the house. This guy is a PKer with a skull above his head, just popped out. He did it. That's the killer. There's your guy. He's getting away. We're gonna pull a classic forensic stunt and analyze all the fingerprints of each of these people's objects and match it up with the knife. I touched all of them with my bare hands, including the knife, so it's gonna end up being me. I'm the killer. I'm putting flour on all their objects and then putting them on flypaper so I can see the fingerprint. Got all the fingerprints, now we just need to see which one matches the knife. Oh! Oh, the fingerprint is an exact match to Elizabeth's. Elizabeth did it. That's all we needed. Her fingerprints are probably just on it from when she was nine years old playing with it one day. There's a guy outside the gate over here. His name's Gossip. He's like the Keem star of RuneScape. He doesn't have any talents himself, and he's not extraordinary in the slightest, so he just talks about everybody else and tries to make a career out of it, so... Here he is, lingering. Who do you think was responsible? Well, I'd sit here and watch the house all day long, hoping to see into windows and, and get a look, but... Uh, yeah, it could be anybody. Thanks, Gossip. You're a real help. We're gonna go talk to a poison salesman because apparently he stalked somebody and watched them buy poison. Who'd you sell poison to? Everybody! Oh, good. Good. Yeah, he sold poison to everybody in the house. That family might have more issues than just the murder of their dad. Since Elizabeth's prints were the ones that matched the knife, we're gonna go ask her what she used her poison for and see if the story adds up. Why'd you buy poison the other day? There was mosquitoes under the fountain. That's... It's pretty weird. I don't think you used poison to get rid of mosquitoes. Maybe some spray. She said I can go see myself, but she doesn't believe I'm capable of doing that. It's literally five feet away outside. Let's see. It's swarming with mosquitoes. Yeah, no one's used poison on this fountain. Why did she tell me to literally go check myself if she knew damn well there was no poison? Oh, God! Check out all this evidence I got. It's amazing. Have you considered a career as a detective? What do you think I am, guard? I'm the best goddamn detective this town's ever seen. Murder Murder mystery's done. I really wish they would show Elizabeth just getting dragged out of this mansion. That would be fantastic. Mr. Fancy Boy over here wouldn't let me through the gate. Clearly, he has no idea how cute and popular I am. We're about to do the dig site quest, and this is where the RuneScape lore starts getting a little juicy. The dig site is the prequel to Desert Treasure, and it's the first encounter with Zeros, a god who pretty much ruled the entire world during the Second Age in the RuneScape timeline. A little fun fact for everyone, Zeros was killed by one of his own generals who happened to be Zamorak, 
the big scary red guy. When he killed Zeros, it sparked the God Wars, and it started the big red versus blue feud we all know and love. But for right now, we have big dreams of becoming an architect or an archaeologist. Those are very different things. One builds buildings, the other one plays with rocks. We want to play with rocks, so we're going to talk to an examiner and see if they'll let us go play outside. Before they trust us with sharp objects out there, we need to take an exam. We can't take an exam unless we get a stamp of approval from the curator, and that guy runs the museum in Verox, so we're gonna go get a stamp on, a, on an envelope. He's stamping the envelope because we helped him with the Shield of Erev way back when, when we were young and innocent. The level 100 is following a level 4 to finish the quest. Ugh, that's hot. That is, that is, that is hot. So he's returning the favor now. Time to wing the fuck out of this exam. It's the only way I've ever taken exams, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. Can you tell me what Earth Sciences is? Wow, that's a, that's a tongue twister. Gardening with vegetarians. Which people are allowed to use the dig site? Uh, everybody? That's discriminatory. What kind of place is this? Proper safety points when working here. Rubber chickens to be worn on the head at all times. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Oh no, we got zero questions right. I don't know how this could have happened. The only way we can pass this exam is if we go to the dig site and start asking these questions and learn the answers. So let's go bug some people on the clock. Hey, I found a disgusting looking teddy bear in the bush. This might serve as a crucial item within the plot. That is gross. Can you help me with the exams? If you can help me. Oh, oh god. Shut your eyes, kids. She just wanted the teddy bear back, so we got the teddy bear. Why is a grown woman bringing a teddy bear to a dig site? I have I have no idea. This irresponsible asshole lost his find, and he won't give us the answer to the exam until we find it for him, so looks like we're handling his issues. This guy had a shovel in his, in his back pocket. Oh, he had two shovels. Jesus Christ, how big are those pockets, buddy? Three fu- Holy shit! What do you think you're doing? Questioning how many shovels you can fit in your pants, dude. What do you have? Oh, an animal skull. Okay, I think that's what he lost. Here you go. It was in that guy's pocket. God knows what else they have in there. They can fit everything. Why is it a trend to just lose things while you're down here? No one can keep track of their shit. His thing is in the lake over here, so we have to go pan it till we find- Oh, what? What's the issue? Oh, you have to be invited to put a bowl into water over here. Oh, we can do it if we do a favor for him. What a surprise. What do you want? Oh, wants a cup of tea. We have to get him a cup of tea and then we can put our bowl into the water. Hey, don't look over here. Nice. I just took everything on the table. Not a single thing was left. Oh, it's back. He gave us permission. Let's let's do it. Oh god, what is this animation? Oh my f- By some miracle, in an ocean full of possible things to find, we found his cup. We are earth science masters now, so we have to go retake the exam. Oh, I got all the questions correct. I'm a genius. We passed level one of the exams. We have to pass three more levels. Look at that certificate. Look at my name on it. It's beautiful. I'm putting it on my fridge. The next part is the same thing. We have to go to all the students and they just tell us their notes and we retake it so I'll be back when I have more academic success to show you. So I just realized you have to actually fail the next exam before you can go talk to the people on the dig site. So even though I know all the answers to exam 2, all those guys already told me back there but I didn't fail this exam yet so I have to go ask them all again and they're gonna be like dude you asked five minutes ago why don't you go do anything else but talk to me right now. <laughs> this girl thinks her intelligence is invaluable to our studying so she wants an opal in return for helping out. There you go here's an opal. It's about as worthless as that disease-filled teddy bear you carry around with you, psychopath. We passed level three. We've got our certificate. We're ready to start digging and, and blowing things up. It's a tradition to not press record during crucial moments of the quest because I'm a dumbass, but we dug up this crazy looking symbol on the dig site and it's making some very terrifying sounds. Oh god, I'm frozen! I'm frozen! I can't move! I can't move! Somebody help me! So yeah, this is the symbol of Zeros. You've probably seen it on the ancient staff. In current day, the citizens have no idea about Zeros really because he's so forgotten about, but he's very scary. He's a terrifying guy. He gave us written permission to go down into the mine shafts or whatever they are down there. So we're gonna head underground and do a little investigating. Okay, we're just gonna go down there. Don't think about it. Aha! What a mysterious little environment. Okay, there's skeletons walking around. Oh, there's the zero symbol. That's where we want to go. That's where we got to be. We're going down to a different part, and we're going to ask what the hell we do about this. Doug Deeping. What a name. <gasps> There's iron pickaxes on the ground. I can upgrade my pickaxe. I've used a bronze pickaxe up to this point. Anyway, there was a guy down here who tried to get into that little skeleton area and he had explosives, but then he got scared. So we're gonna make some explosives and actually go in because we are brave and confident. I'm picking one of these things up, man. Oh, give me all of them. I'm never ever using 
A bronze pickaxe again. Time to blow things up. Ah yes, unusual powder. The most dangerous substance in all demolition. A skull and bones on this barrel means it's... I don't care. I better be very careful not to drop it. You proceed to chuck the vial across the dig site into the hands of the teddy bear girl. Okay, I dug around this specimen tray for about an hour to get a piece of charcoal, which is the last ingredient into this deadly explosion vial. Hey guy, look what I found out there. Oh yeah, if you drop that, we all die. Yeah, thanks for bringing that inside. Oh, it'd be a shame if my finger slipped by accident. I'm ready to rock and roll with my explosives. We're gonna go pour it on those rocks near this arrow symbol and go see what it's all about. Let's just pour this right on here. Yeah. Excuse me, fellas. Okay, well, there's the zero symbol. There's a little stone tablet in the middle, so we're just gonna take that as a souvenir. I'm kind of surprised there's nothing popping out at me trying to kill me. I just stole a stone tablet that belonged to an ancient god. There's just no consequence for that, apparently. Where's the teddy bear girl? I'm gonna throw this at her. In all the years that they've been at this dig site, they've never noticed this giant altar down there, and it's, it's literally right under them. Dig site quest is complete. Desert treasure lore is open and wide, ready for us. Very exciting stuff. I have one more quest to do before Legends, and I still don't have all the levels I need, so let's get after it. So I double checked and I was right. New pickaxes came out the same day as Dwarf Cannon did, so I completely spaced it. But we got ourselves a rune pickaxe, baby. That is quite the jump from a bronze pickaxe, let me tell you. Levels are gonna fly. I'm a happy boy. So one of the requirements is 50 smithing. I already have 52 mining. I didn't think I'd find myself back at Shiloh Village, but this is actually the closest furnace in the game to a bank. And I have access to it because I've done Shiloh Village. Look at me go. I can do something efficient. I need seven more levels. It's not too terrible. I'm just staying strong. Mining all the gold, gonna put it in the oven. Put it right in the oven. I'm baking all the gold so I can eat it later. Gonna put that gold right into my mouth. You should try it. You should try it. Gotta go to agility course. The barbarians hate me. And as of lately, I hate them too So you know what I gotta do What I gotta do What I got to do Is steal From people Gonna steal from innocent people These guards are innocent people And I don't care Jagex thought to themselves, before we put out Legends Quest, they're gonna need some sort of support system. So they released Gertrude's cat. After we get done with this quest, we're gonna have our own little needy asshole cat to take care of. So this is Gertrude, Varrock's sweetheart, absolute smoke show. She lost her cat, Fluffs. It ran away. To my understanding, her kids were playing with it in the junkyard or, or wood lumberyard. That's that's the word. And they, they scared it away or something, and Fluffs was like, No, oh shit, I'm staying here. These, these kids suck. So we have to go interrogate her kids, and I'm very excited about that. Gertrude's kid has a forehead bigger than, than this whole city. He's not telling me where it is. Hey, how about you tell me or I fucking hurt you, kid? Oh, you, you wouldn't. No, I totally would. I would love to. They want me to pay them to find out where the spot is. He wants 100 coins. This is a prime example of lack of discipline. Gertrude is a terrible mother. I don't even need to know her to understand that she is. Here's your 100 coins, kid. I'm only, I'm only paying you because your mom's hot. We gotta dump a bucket of milk on the cat and then, and then it goes home. This is the lumber yard. We just have to find- Oh, hey, there she is. What do you mean I find nothing? I just saw the meow- Oh, does it move like every two seconds? Okay, I just saw yellow letters pop above the crate and it's like, Oh no, it didn't work. Oh. I just wanna pet you, come here. Oh fuck. Perhaps the cat wants something. Yeah, here you go. Meow. Alright. Now go home. Oh, okay. Oh, it's hungry. I totally forgot about the dumb sardines you have to make for this. The average time to complete this quest is probably under two minutes. And then there's me. We have Fluff's favorite sardine, so let's go get her. Here you go, you spoiled cat. This is what I'm talking about. 
I mean, all these cats, okay. I need to get its kittens. But this is what I mean. Oh, I found him. All cats are just as needy as this. I'm gonna get my own as soon as I go back to Gertrude, and it's gonna make my life a living hell. I'm never taking that thing out of the bank. There you go, get out of here. Never wanna see you again. I'm kinda dreading going back to Gertrude. I really don't want a cat. What the f- Go home. Fluffs has returned. Shut up, game. Hey, I, I told your cat to come home, and it did, but now it's, it's back over there, so it's not really- my fault. Gertrude gives me a hug? Oh my god. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take the cat, I guess. What are you doing tonight? Shut up, cat. What are you doing tonight? I hate this thing already. Look at it. Stop looking at me. Oh my god. All right. Well, we have a cat now. Big responsibility. This is not important right now. What is important is that we have all the requirements to become a legend. Oh god, it's eating my cat. Holy shit. No, stop it. So you know what I gotta do? What I gotta do, what I got to do is steal from people.